guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this adorable earring. It's just a little dangle earring using the Dollar Bee box for June of 2023. This was such a pretty box. And I just alternated um, those beautiful chuck glass leaves. And then I put these two little on the bottom. So it's, I mixed the um, purples, um, and the greens together. And I love the way this turned out. So I used, I have these rings. Not sure I got these from, but I used that. And then I'm going to put the ear wire up at the top. Let me get the ear wires, that would help. <gasps> I forgot about those. So, let me get these two started. There we go. So I'm going to, what am I using here? Where are my? Oh, they're there. Okay. So I'm going to just take this and open this up like that. I'm going to put that in there and close that up. There we go. So look how cute these are. So stylish. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I did this. So let me see here. So what I used is I used two of the bigger jump rings to put them up at the top like that. I used this ring and then I used that. Then I used four Two, I, I just, I have two inch eye pins, silver, and then two of regular two inch head pins. Then I used these pretty little beads from there. I used the three millimeter fire polish beads, the silvery ones, not the, not the strong silver, but just the more the muted silver, and then the four millimeter purple ones. Okay. So we're gonna start with, I'm gonna just copy what I did here. So I took my eye pin and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do this one first. So I did that, that, and then this one. So it looks like that. And then I put the leaf on like that and then silver one and then the purple one these are just fun dangly earrings i love them i use my round nose pliers for these kind of things so i'm going just a little bit up from there and i'm bending that then i'm taking my push cutters and I'm, i always close my eyes when i do that because i don't want to poke it in my eye then i use my round nose pliers to Bring it around like that. Okay, so here I have this first one there. So then let's make the second one using the eye pin. So then we're gonna start with this purple one and then the silver. I love this month's box. This is so pretty and that and then this again. We'll see how I'm just copying what I do. I like to, when I do earring tutorials, I like to do one earring first, and then I usually do it for this. I usually do the video for the second earring, because sometimes, you know, I like to play around and see what I like and what works and everything. Okay. So if we look at that, that's perfect. Let me get like that. You bend that. My cutters, I go about maybe a third of an inch out. And I like to use my round nose pliers to close it up. Okay. Okay, 
So now I'm going to attach this that up and attach that onto here. So that's the first one. And I think I bent this. And then I'm going to do this little dangly right here. Let me move these. These are kind of in the way. And you can't see what I'm doing. Okay. Then I'm going to do the dangly right there. And that I'm going to use just the regular head pin for. I'm going to do one of these little silver ones right there. Then I'm going to do this gorgeous one right here. And then one of these little funky ones right here. <laughs> Okay, so there you have that. Then I take my round nose pliers. And I already did the guesswork of layering the leaves so that they weren't right next to each other. I'll do that. And then I don't go right at the tip. I go a little bit farther out. Let me get this like that. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to open that up a little bit and attach the third one right there. And that we have the first one. Now I'm going to open where is my oh, there. this up put this here and put that there I'm gonna do that okay so now I have the first one and this is a personal preference if you want to switch it out you know so that like so that this is like we could do it so these would be the insides and then I could do this one on this side if that makes sense so that when you're wearing them that's what I usually do so even though it's I have them backwards this would be the out this would be the inside one so now we're going to do this one so we're going to start with this top one right there and I'm going to do one of these beautiful silvers Where did that go? Okay, that just fell on the floor. It went into the abyss, or whatever that saying is. <laughs> so, we have that, and then the leaf. And the other silver. And then one of these beauties. These are so much fun. And another silver one. I'm going to have to get more silvers. Over and then the purple. One of these gorgeous ones again. And then, oh, get some more of the silvers. Okay. And then one of these babies. Okay, so now we're going to see if I get everything. Yep, okay. Take my round nose pliers, just go up a little bit. And cut that. I usually come from the inside and round that out. Okay, so I have the, that one. And we're going to do this one, just the other eye pin. So we start with this beauty on the bottom, then the leaf, and then the silver, and this. Okay, 
and I'm putting I'm, I'm putting all of them up just to make sure I'm doing it right. I'm not getting confused. <laughs> okay, so then I bend that. Cut that. Okay. So now we have... Let me, I'm gonna put these the way I'm going to. So when the earrings are on, whoever wears these, this will be, uh, the longer one dangles will be on the inside against their face, and then these will be hanging on the outside, if that makes sense. Okay, so. This would be up here. This will be here. <coughs> and then, we take the head pin and I'm gonna do this one right here. So we do, I'm gonna do that right there. That is beautiful silver. I love these beads. I know I've told you this a million times, but just can't get enough of these babies. Okay, and that, and I'm gonna do the purple one. Okay, I'm gonna do this, go just a little bit up, bend, trim, okay, and then So then that's going to go right here. So let's connect these now. And then I got that. And that. Okay. So now we have this, and now we're gonna take these, I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna do this, hang this. From the outside. be like that. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to, oh, that's moving here. Hold on one second. I need to open one more. Little ball's getting in the way. To face it. Oh. There we go. Okay. And here we have these gorgeous dangle leaf earrings that can be worn from summer even into fall. I mean, you know, the green can make a good fall color too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making these. These are so fun. Kind of like hippie inspired boho. It seems to be my style most of the time. So, um, yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think of this. And if you get the dollar bead box, uh, if you think you'll try making this. Um, 
So you hope you are subscribed to my channel. If you are not, go down below and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And all my social media is below, my Etsy, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. And I also will leave a link to the dollar bead box for these beautiful beads. Love, love, love these. So I hope you all have a blessed day, and I will see you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching.